our Glory Globe TV viewers breaking news. Yeah, while many central banks around the world are still trying to cool inflation, China is grappling with falling prices. The consumer price index, that is called CPI, dropped 0.5 percent in November on an annual basis, the biggest fall since the depths of the pandemic three years ago, according to data released by China's National Bureau of Statistics on Saturday. The drop marked an acceleration in the rate of deflation from October when the CPI fell 0.2% from a year earlier and prompted calls on urgent action from Beijing to boost demand and prevent a downward spiral of prices. The data come days after Chinese policymakers vowed to strengthen fiscal and monetary support to boost the world's second biggest economy, which is struggling with a real state crisis, high youth unemployment and subdued consumer confidence. China has been fighting weak prices for most of this year due to the property market slam and weak spending. Deflation is bad for the economy because consumers and companies may put up purchases of investment in anticipation of prices falling further. That in turn could further slow the economy and create a vicious cycle. Consumer inflation began slowing in February and turned negative in July for the first time in more than two years it returned to positive territory in August and was flat in September but fell back below zero in October. China's deflation situation is depending with the triple wobby from domestic food prices, international oil price corrections and weak domestic demand, analysts from City said in a Sunday report. Signs of price weakness are now spreading from goods to services, they added. BMW Globe TV, Delhi, Bharat.